Uh, hello my dear friends welcome back to the channel this is the new playlist related to the interview question and answers for telecom industry this is the first question uh, in this video uh, the question is what is the decoding strategy for bpsk system or how do you find out the decision boundary so basically the question is uh, you know in a bpsk system uh, where uh, uh, zero is mapped to uh, plus uh, square root of p and one is mapped to uh, minus square root of p and both uh, zeros and ones occur with equiprobable in this case uh, how do you find the decision boundary okay for this constellation it is pretty much straightforward uh, you all guys know uh, some of you might can uh, some of you can already guess the answer but uh, let us try to solve it in a different way uh, but in in a most uh, complicated way how can we solve this uh, you know you need to take a, a map uh, maximum a posteriori uh, detector and then uh, you should solve the optimization problem then you will get the decision boundary right so what is the second option second option is uh, we need to uh, you know go uh, we need to find it uh, in an entity way so that is what usually you know most of the interviewers would uh, look for all right so when i say equi probable which means that uh, you know probability of uh, uh, 0 is equal to probability of 1 uh, is equal to of all right so this is the question so now uh, you should be uh, commenting in the comment section uh, whether uh, uh, this is uh, this has uh, appeared in any of the interviews or not uh, uh, or uh, is it uh, a interview probable interview question or not okay so i will be waiting for your comments so let us get into the solution so so let's say uh, i transmit uh, x is equal to plus square root of p so what would i receive y is equal to uh, x plus n uh, n is a noise so basically y is equal to square root of uh, p plus noise right so this is what i transmitted and this is uh, i receive so here we need the statistics of noise uh, uh, noise uh, uh, will be uh, you know the gaussian iid iid gaussian uh, random variable with mean 0 and variance sigma square let's say this is uh, the distribution for this question then how, how does my noise look like okay so it would look like um, you know something like this so this is the mean musical mean 0 and this would constitute the variance of sigma square right so this is a pdf of uh, uh, noise Uh, now now what is y you know y will also be a gaussian but in this case uh, uh, the mean is uh, square root of p and the variance is sigma square right because p is a uh, constant quantity uh, it, it its mean is uh, uh, square root of p whereas uh, noise mean is zero so square root of p plus zero is square root of p variance constant uh, uh, value variance is zero but variance of noise is sigma square and uh, that that's comes here okay so how can i draw this right these were my constellation point so now my uh, pdf of uh, uh, you know y would look like this right now if you clearly see you know the pdf is entering into uh, and and actually it goes uh, till till infinity right on, on either side okay so it is uh, mm, uh, you know going beyond y is equal to 0 now how to find the decision boundary let's say uh, you know p is equal to 1 and uh, you know noise is equal to um, 0 0.5 okay this is just an example then what will be my y uh, y is equal to 1.5 let's say noise i will take minus 0.5 then my uh, y will be 0.5 so this will be one so somewhere you know my received uh, y will be lying at this point which is 0.5 <coughs> then what what do you decode so in intuitive way you know this is uh, pretty much close to this one right and uh, you know this will be uh, this is farther to this so you will decode it as uh, one itself so since the probability of uh, 
uh, you know the probability of uh, 1 and uh, 0 is equal right 1s and zeros uh, uh, both the probabilities are uh, uh, equal so we can take uh, the equal area and uh, uh, and we can decide uh, what could be my decoding strategy so even if you consider uh, the similar uh, gaussian distribution right uh, okay so then it would look something like this uh, where you know if you clearly see uh, for uh, for positive quantity for positive quantity which means uh, y is positive if y is positive then uh, you will see that uh, the pdf uh, this pdf dominates so whenever y is positive we can say that uh, uh, you know plus 1 is transmitted similarly when y is negative we can say this uh, pdf is dominating and uh, i will decode it as uh, uh, you know minus square root of p which is actually okay this is actually 1 this is 0 i will decode it as 0 i will decode it as 1 so what will be my uh, decoding strategy as per this clearly uh, the decoding strategy is that if y is positive which means y is greater than 0 then i will decode it as 0 then if y is uh, uh, less than 0 then i will decode it as 1 right then there is a question now uh, for you guys uh, to figure out and uh, uh, put the right answer in the comment box that is what if my y exactly lies on 0 so what will be your decoding strategy okay it can happen right so p is equal to 1 your nice can be minus 1 in which case y y will become 0 so i hope you got the uh, clarity here what is my decoding strategy so basically you know uh, uh, my decision um, boundary is this one all right now there is a variation uh, uh, variation of this particular question that is uh, zeros will appear with probability 3 by 4 and uh, 1 will appear with probability 1 by 4 which case you know this is let's say p1 this is p2 in which case uh, p1 is greater than p2 then what is your uh, decision boundary <coughs> so let, let me take uh, this one again in an intuitive way otherwise we have to go through the map detector and derive the optimization problem and get the decision boundary but uh, uh, you know what could be my um, you know, simplistic or intuitive answer so earlier the decision boundary was uh, uh, lying at this point right uh, yeah, we, we have divided the entire region equally but now uh, in this case um, since the probability of p1 is higher maybe i am not sure how would be the um, you know how would the pdf would look like but uh, um, definitely we should be giving uh, a more area to plus square root of p which cause which which corresponds to zero okay because that is having the highest uh, uh, you know uh, the probability so somewhere you know your decision boundary will shift towards here so your decision boundary will be somewhere here what will be the exact point at what point uh, we need to represent this that's uh, that is again you know we need to figure out with the uh, uh, map derivation that we will come in the upcoming videos okay in some of the interviews if you are looking for a research job or a system engineering job then such kind of questions will be asked so let us see in those derivations in the upcoming videos all right so similarly you know if uh, mm, one is having highest probability then definitely uh, the decision boundary would have been on the other side so this is how uh, i think uh, the in an intuitive way uh, you can actually decide what could be the decision boundary um, so let's say for example you know uh, why so so let's say uh, let me take uh, in the previous case okay where the probabilities were equal if my uh, so in this case if uh, p is 1 right so let's say if noise is minus 1.5 then what would have happened to my y y uh, would have been minus 0 0.5 in which case my y would have been present at this point minus 0 0.5 but what what i have transmitted i have transmitted uh, uh, you know square root of p but i have decoded it as square root of p means i have transmitted 0 but i have decoded it as 1 so this is probability of error right i mean there is an error so 
here we can we can derive what is the probability of error that again you know uh, the derivation for probability of error for bpsk system uh, uh, we will come uh, we'll come to that concept in the upcoming videos i hope this question is uh, uh, this question and answer is clear and you also got some little uh, flavor uh, different flavors of this particular question um, so we will see some more variations of this question in the upcoming videos uh, but uh, i want you guys to uh, you know com comment for three things one is whether this is a probable question or not or whether it has appeared in any of your interviews or not that is the first comment second comment is what is your decoding strategy when y is equal to zero so then the third one is uh, what are the different uh, uh, possible uh, questions uh, based on uh, the question which i had taken in this uh, video okay so please uh, comment in the comment section uh, we'll see um, in the upcoming video for more videos so please do subscribe and appreciate the efforts by subscribing to the channel thank you very much have a great day bye bye